Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter is a damn genius. You don't have to be a stan or a member of the hive to understand, but allow me to give you some historical context so you can under and overstand what Matthew and Tina have blessed us with. We are gonna cover Solange too, because in the era of the 21st century where black bodies continue to experience so much damn trauma, this black joy that knows women heighten is just everything for so many layered reasons. There's this thing called ethnomusicology. It's the study of music from the cultural and social aspects of the people who make it. Basically the study of the culture and society that influenced the music and of the culture and society the music influenced. There is a storied ethnomusicology to the history of American music and that of the Recording Academy. America, the land of the free that was stolen from the natives and built upon by forced labor of the slaves, you know, there is a racial history here because what is America without it? Pop music is the reworking of black voices, songwriters, composers, and their melodic narratives tuned down to make it palatable for white performers to claim them and serve them as the newest hit for white audiences. And this is what the genre classifications are built off of. That Justin Timberlake can put out an entire album produced by Timbaland and be nominated for best pop vocal album, but a Timbaland produced album by Aaliyah only qualifies for R&B categories. So think of the strategy presented when Beyonce releases her blackest album to date in that Lemonade blatantly addresses and invokes the narrative of black women who struggle, persevere, and overcome in a world that is built to suffocate them. And across the 12 tracks on the album, Beyonce invokes various genres that black artists are typically pushed out of. Rock with the Jack White produced Don't Hurt Yourself. And then she wisely conjoled a group of R&B writers to pen the country song Daddy Lessons, adding another layer of strategy and defiance as she performed Daddy Lessons with the Perrias of country music, the Dixie Chicks at the 2016 Country Music Awards. Look, Jolene is that song and I am happy Pentatonix got to win a Grammy off a Cracker Barrel sponsorship that hit all the Walmart shopping country music fan notes, but how come Daddy Lessons didn't qualify for best country group performance? Hmm. In the past, 10 years, 17 non-white artists have been nominated for Album of the Year. Of these 17, only Herbie Hancock has won in 2008 for his cover album of Joni Mitchell classics. Joni is a white woman. The last black woman to win was only the third to ever do so when in 1999, Lauryn Hill won Album of the Year for her culture shifting album, The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. Tell them how we all learn the meaning of reciprocity through X Factor. It could all be so simple, but you'd rather make it hard. Beyonce knew Lemonade wasn't going to win any of the top categories it was nominated for. Not record, album, or song of the year for formation. Much like Rihanna knew she wasn't going to win any of the eight nominations anti-deservedly scored. Riri came slayed and graciously defiant with that bedazzled flask. Now, no one is checking for who she lost to. We're just here for her slay. And Beyonce stopped the show with a performance that no one could dismiss. I love the fuck out of black women who know in the face of a society that does not truly respect them, there is no breathing without them. To speak to the glory of Beyonce's performance that was an ode to motherhood and more specifically the holy wounds of black women whose bodies have been ripped apart and tortured for the sanctity of white women's fertility. An ode to Anarka, Lucy, and Betsy, the black slave woman, the father of modern gynecology, Dr. James Marion Sims, experimented on. An ode to all the black women who suffer through the belief that we have a higher tolerance for pain, leaving doctors to dismiss our concerns and diagnose us too damn for the PCOS, the lupus, the sickle cell, and others that go under research burdened in the wombs of black women. For the lack of any holy imagery praising the holiness of black motherhood while Aunt Mama and Mammy are commodified for mass consumption. For the welfare queen of Ronald Reagan's imagination that held his foot down on black women's neck even though she was a white woman.
Beyonce repainted herself as the Western image of Mary, mother of Jesus, while not denying that even that image was brought through the brutality against black women. But we are the mothers of the world, much like Oshun, arms extended like Pravati. In essence, no matter your belief system, your womb is holy. This is the image young girls, little black girls, who in so many ways are reminded that they are supposedly not worthy. These are the images they need to see that there is a beautiful lineage that precedes and births them. And only through them can that beauty extend. <laughs> can we give a shout that Beyonce performed both songs, seated and still found a way to make it visually amazing? Them twins are wearing her out, but will not stop her. Who gonna sponsor me for Coachella? Adele swooped up all three major categories with her album 25 and the lead single, Hello. Adele is not at fault here. Yes, she absolutely benefits from the privilege of being a blue-eyed soul singer, but this ain't no Taylor Swift's winning over Kendrick Lamar to Pimple Butterfly, where there is a clear sonic difference in caliber of artistry. 25 is a deserving album, but as Adele stated, what does Beyonce have to do to win album of the year? She's only won one major category with single ladies taking home song of the year in 2009. Lemonade deserved album of the year because it is an album that has shifted culture, sat on the nose of white listeners, forcing them to understand that this moment wasn't for them, but it can still sound good to them. It awakened them to the narrative that is often silenced. And it was magnificent. That is an album of the year. Nothing Adele said in support of Beyonce was wrong or offensive. She acknowledged her privilege and that the album did mean something different from black women, including her black friends. Typically, the best urban contemporary album winner is not broadcasted, but somebody knew better. And that was Beyonce's one opportunity to give a speech penned on a gold card matching her mother Mary outfit. She made sure her message was clear. It's important to me to show images to my children that reflect their beauty so they can grow up in a world where they look in the mirror first at their own families, as well as the news, the Super Bowl, the Olympics, the White House, and the Grammys, and see themselves and have no doubt that they are beautiful, intelligent, and capable. Okay, lady, now let's get information. I say, okay, lady, now let's get information. You know you that between the clouds, all this conversation.